Hello makers. So, for the past week and a half, I've been I've been kind of toying with the idea of of multi materials. And every time I mention multi material, the first thing, usually the first comment that comes up in my videos is, it's all about waste. I hate the waste. That's why I don't I don't buy multi material or multi color. It's just a waste of filament. Now, while I partially agree with that because I, I don't want to get into the conversation again about if you have multiple models on the same on the same build plate you kind of like less waste less but anyway there are companies who have mitigated this to some extent because you can't completely eradicate the purge block uh, so for example the MME2 on the Prusa you can use infill as purge you can also use a secondary model um, to use that as your purge model and then you can just paint it up if you don't care what it looks like at the same time there still needs to be a little purge block for the initial retract and purge uh, sequence so that mitigates a lot of it but for those who don't have that feature i've been i've been kind of playing around with a different way of minimizing your waste. So it started off with the Palette 2 Pro. As, as I mentioned to you guys, I have the Palette 2 Pro and I've been using it with the CR-10S and it's been printing great. However, once again, there's that purge block and you can sort of fine tune it to reduce the transition distance, which is um, set to thir 13 centimeters from the get-go. You can fine tune it down to about 10 or 9 centimeters uh, if you tune it really well. However, you still have those instances where it's unnecessary purge when you have several layers of the same color, there's no transition. You still have to build that tower block in order to make sure that it's always level with the nozzle um, so it can purge whenever it needs to. So what I did was I transferred the Palette 2 Pro onto the Ender 5 and started designing a purge bucket, which Initially it was like this, and there's a reason why it's this big. Um, I'll, I'll get to that in a bit. But the idea was to have a purge bucket, something with a sliding tray so you can empty it um, when it's full, or you can just leave it open and have just material ooze out constantly from the bottom. Then I realized that I can use that because there are belts on where I wanted to attach it. But anyway, I redesigned the purge bucket completely, and it worked, it actually worked, and I was extremely happy. And two things came out of this. First of all, you have much quicker prints. Prints that usually take maybe 18 hours to print were taking about 10 hours to print. So I cut the, the, the printing time in half. And not only that, there is a lot of less waste filament because as I mentioned before, when you have a transition between uh, one color and another, you need the purge block because the nozzle always has to be in line with the purge block or else it would be purging in midair. Um, however, when you have several layers in the model, which happens quite often, and you don't have a transition, then it does not need to purge at all. It, it stops once in a while in order to send pings, and it worked beautifully. And I've done a lot of test prints to, uh, to bring this up, and I wasted waste time, uh, I wasted less filament, um, and it worked beautifully. So then I decided, okay, I want to do a purge bucket on the GTEC A20M. So that started obviously lots and lots and lots and lots of different iterations of the purge bucket. I want it to be as good as I can get it. Now, before I go any further, yes, I know that some of you could have done a better job. Yes, I know that I could have done a sliding or a sideways purge bucket to go off the edge. Yes, I know I could have done it differently, but that's besides the point. I just wanted to start it somewhere, have it the best that I can do it, and then hopefully the community can run with it. That's the whole point of the open source. And apart from that, I'm hoping that companies like GTEC or those who have multi-material pick up on this. Purge buckets are actually a very good thing and that is proven by the BCN 3D Sigma by the Formbot. They actually waste much less. So using purge buckets instead of um, purge towers is always going to minimize the waste and also the time it takes to print. Now the whole purpose of this design is for this to attach on the x-axis gantry so it's constantly level with the nozzle. Um, you have a slot in here that fits in a three millimeter piece 
piece of silicone strip. Yes, I could have done wire brush, but there isn't enough clearance. Um, for the GTEC, unfortunately, even on the other end, there is not enough clearance in the nozzle. So I had to make do with what I had available. In fact, even using a three millimeter thick piece of silicone, I had to actually shave a little bit to make it a bit thinner because three millimeter is all I had. I could have done it with less. Um, and what I also did is I installed a piece of aluminum tape on the side here where the nozzle purges. Um, because I found that it's very good uh, for um, for PLA or for filaments not to stick with the plastic while it's oozing, it just slides completely off. So in order to install this, you use the same two screws that there are um, with the axe gantry. The only thing I did was, uh, since there are lock nuts and there is not enough length in the screw, rather than changing the screw, I simply tightened the lock, lock nuts um, inverted, so lock part first, and that worked beautifully. The good thing about this is that it moves upwards, always constantly up with the Z axis. So the nozzle is always sort of fixed in place with the purge bucket. It's always at the same height. And the fact that it has a drawer at the bottom, you can remove it. It's not a clean um, solution, but it's an effective solution. So the, the higher it goes, the more room you have for the purge to come out of the bottom. Now I've done a few, a few samples, it works beautifully. Yes, once again, I know it could be better, but there are limitations to what my capabilities are in Fusion 360 and engineering. Um, so I'm gonna let the community run with this. Unfortunately, I had a beautiful print going overnight uh, in order to showcase exactly that this works. But I had um, a clog in my GTEC A20M and unfortunately the print completely failed. But that is beside the point. Um, the point here is that you can mitigate to some extent the purge. You can mitigate the uh, the waste when it comes to multi-material or multi-color. Purge buckets are definitely a better way than purge blocks. Unfortunately, not all printers allow it. So for example, for uh, for the Prusa Mark III and Mark IIs, I couldn't find, there's no clearance anywhere on the bed to insert a purge bucket. At least I couldn't find any. Once again, I know some of you might have a better idea. And for for most of, of the other printers, there's very limited space. You have to work with what you have, especially if you're using the Palette 2 or the Palette Plus for that matter. Now, another thing is that a lot of printers have a soft limit switch, so it won't allow the nozzle to go past the bed. So I spoke to Greg, uh, a buddy of mine on, um, on Twitter, and he helped me a lot he's the one that developed the uh, the script the tool changing script for this it is a simplified 3d uh, tool script which I will leave a link for in the video description below it should work on Cura with a few tweaks I haven't gotten that far yet the one thing that we definitely included and we've worked on this on this uh, on this code for a couple of days was the ability to remove the limit switches, uh, the soft limit switch at the beginning of the code and re reactivate it at the end of the code in order to make sure that you don't print off the bed. But it has to be there because some printers won't allow you to move past the build plane. So a big shout out and thank you to Greg. I will leave a link to his Twitter account. Make sure you follow him. He's an awesome dude and he's an absolute star for helping me get this out there. I will obviously also leave links uh, in the video description for the purge bucket that I did for the um, for the GTEC A20M. As for me, that is it for now. It's time for me to move on to next project. Um, lots of those happening recently. But I thought I, I really wanted to showcase this and, uh, and let you guys, once again, run with it. Um, as a whole point of the community to share, learn and grow, as Filament Frenzy would say. So by all means, print it out, test it. If you find something better to do with it or, or a better revision, by all means do it and make sure you share it. It's very important to share all this with everyone. And most importantly, share it with me. Tell me what you did because I need to learn as well. That is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Um, ring the bell to make sure you get notifications when videos like this come up. And in the meantime, as always, happy making, guys. <laughs>